Come on. Why am I here? So you don't know that I know about everything. But I do. You have a lot of secrets, Nick. And personally, I think it's a thin line that separates us. It's still a line. Homicide needs you there, Nikolai. Well, I wouldn't normally send my best detective to do paperwork on a suicide, but they specifically requested you. No, I don't want to go back. It's just a formality. Besides, you get to spend some time with your family. I hear you grew up in Lebrun. Yeah. How long have you been in Kripos? A week. So if I need help, I know where to turn to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two years is a long time, Nick. Yeah, good to see you. You too, brother. Huh. But it looks like suicide. Except for this. No, it's, it's probably nothing, but... The deceased had it cut in his abdomen, and I want the medical examiner to look at it. He probably just fell, but I want it checked. Chances are Tommy Hagen realized the world would be a better place without him. And unfortunately, my brother Lars was friends with Tommy and the other deputy here. The three of them have been buddies since they were kids, so that's why we're here. This place is inbred. I banked. Onika. 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 Banked. Call comes in about a gunshot, 9.46 p.m. You arrive at the scene, 9.57 p.m., and reported leaving, 11.28 p.m. They sent you all the way from Oslo to read to us, Nick? No, you were at the scene for 90 minutes, and it never occurs to you to call the sheriff, who also happens to be Tommy's friend. You know, Lars and I have got this under control. Really? Yeah. So tell me, what am I missing? Listen. Tommy wasn't just a drunk. He was a fucking pervert. He abused his own kid. You understand? So tell me that you filed a report with Child Welfare Services. Tell me you followed up on it. And tell me that you did everything you could for this kid. Tommy's family is safe now, now that he's dead. But pardon all of us for not crying over it. Come on, talk to me. Lars, hey! I knew what I was going to do that night I left the pub. So you... So you took care of it on your own? Oh, my God. In here. Gone to bed, fallen asleep. I, what would you do? I, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, if you tell people this is a suicide, they will believe you. Well, are you crazy? You want me to cover up a murder? Please, you gotta help me. What's taking so long, Nikolai? I need you here, in Oslo. Yeah, we're done here now. 
they found debris from a construction site in the cut on his abdomen. Yeah, so he was probably drunk and just fell down. We've completed our investigation. It was suicide. Suicide is not a snap decision. Well, yeah, what makes you the expert? My cousin, my father, and my masters. Tommy Hagen killed himself. I went through the files again this morning. Everything points to suicide. Not everything. Yeah. Well, cases are never perfect. Come on, don't tell me you don't have any doubts whatsoever. None. Debris from a construction site is found in his cut, which would indicate that Tommy fell on his way home from the brewery. We went through all this, yeah? Come on. The problem oh, is construction didn't start until 8 in the morning on Tuesday the 7th, the day we arrived. I'm not going to tell anybody about what you've done. See, I like you. I think you're a good man. But if I were you, I would be very, very careful. Dad. Did you know Tommy was molesting his kid? That's a fucking lie. OK, how do you know? I just know it. Yeah, but how do you know? I just know it. You killed him and you wanted me to cover it up. Why? You sit down, sit your ass down. Why? Okay, uh, a few weeks ago, we, we, we came over some cocaine. 20K. It's over 10 million. It'll solve all my problems. Tommy couldn't keep his mouth shut. He started flashing money around town, so he had to go. Oh, man. You know someone's gonna come looking for that dope. You small town idiot cops. You can't unload 20 kilos of coke. That's why we need your help. You need my help. Hey, 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 come on! Hey, calm down! You're the only one that's connected on both sides, okay? That's why you got me here. And that's why you got me to cover it up. You love your brother and you love those kids. You don't want anything to happen to them. the office knows anything about you. You never go out after work. You have a lot of secrets, Nick. I won't help you do this. I'll be seeing you around, Nick. Might as well get comfortable, Nick. We're not going anywhere.